Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly, a mum here in the UK of two children. I have a biological four-year-old daughter and last year me and my husband brought home our son through UK adoption. I wanted to do today's video on a child's name, changing a name, how a child's name is part of their identity, mainly because one of the questions I get asked, not necessarily on here or on Instagram, but by just general family, friends, people is, why did you choose your little man's name or why didn't you change your little man's name and it's a question that is a little bit of a misconception with adoption a lot of people think that you know you can just change um, and adopt a child's name which legally you can however when we had our adoption training we did a big big section of this training on the importance of a child's name and how it forms who they are and why it is so so highly encouraged to keep it after adoption. As I said, social workers will often incredibly discourage any adopters from changing a child's name. And there are many reasons for this. I will certainly go into detail about some of those reasons. And it can hit you like a brick when you are told we don't recommend you change your child's name. It can be another layer of grief that you have to work through because you've probably had names in your head for a long time and for whatever reason you are coming to adoption, it can be quite a hard thing not to have such a huge input into what your child is called. There is one instance that social workers will usually agree to you changing a child's name and that is for safeguarding reasons. If a child has a very unique or a very prominent name that stands out in your community or in a community in general and for whatever reason that makes that child very identifiable to birth family or just to the public in general um, you may then have a good case for changing a child's name. I certainly know uh, adopters who have changed children's names for this reason purely because it was made to safeguard them. But there are some reasons that you definitely should not change a child's name and the being one is just because you want to choose it. That in adoption unfortunately is not a good enough reason to social workers anyway to change a child's name. But again the ball is in your court when you do your adoption order form you get to write your child's future legal name for after the adoption order has been granted and while social workers can certainly discourage you as much as possible you know it is in your hands to make that decision so why not change a child's name after adoption so first of all imagine a child you know so imagine either a baby or maybe even an older child a three-year-old seven-year-old that child knows their name. Can you imagine then changing their name when they respond to their name? They've grown up with that name. That name is an integral part of who they are. Can you imagine how that might impact them, how that might confuse them? Can you imagine yourself in that position if you have gone all of your life, so for me I've been Molly all of my life, to then one day an adoption order be granted and my new name be Lucy? I would really feel conflicted and I think it's always important to reflect on that as if you are in a child's shoes again young children you might have you know the misconception of they're young they won't know but a lot of research shows that babies respond to their name from three months old maybe even younger they're used to that conversation they're used to you calling it them and even when they're older there are a lot of adoptees who have spoken out that said when they learned that their name had been changed, even at two, three months old, that they had a bit of an identity crisis and they really struggled to understand that they once had a different name. And one of the adoptees that I have in mind described it as feeling like a completely different person and their whole view on the world just becoming incredibly conflicted. And I think that's a really, really powerful statement and it's definitely one that sticks in my head. A name is who a child is, it has been given by their birth family, which to a child might be incredibly special to them when they're older. It might have been given them for a very sentimental reason. It is a huge part of their story. And as I said again and again already in this video, that it is a huge, huge part of their identity. And as adoptive parents, one of our main goals is for our children to be as secure and as confident as possible in who they are and in their identity. So much for a child who is adopted changes. They change families, they change homes, they may change lifestyles, they may change schools, they may change complete different locations. So to have a name change 
on top of that as well could really, really impact their mental health and just their perception of themselves very, very negatively. When we saw our little man's profile, you know, we didn't read it and we thought, oh, I didn't like that name or I loved that name. It, it was just a name. But as we learned more about him and we saw more pictures and we saw more videos and we were having the conversations with family about him, he, he very quickly became his name and we very, very, very quickly began to love that name because it, it was who he was. And whilst there's part of me that certainly is sad that, you know, I didn't get to give him a first name that we loved. It's certainly, you know, you have a girl's name list and a boy's name list that I certainly had one when I was growing up in school. You wrote it down in your notebook. And again, you have to grieve that. Um, it was a little bit sad, but equally, I love my little man's name now because it is who he is. Children might also come with middle names. I've known a lot of adopters who um, have changed middle names or have added middle names. You know, if you feel that you really strongly want to give your child a name, you can add as many middle names as possible as you want in the adoption order application for that legal name. We certainly added our own middle name because we wanted to give a little bit of us to our little man's name. We thought it would help him feel included when he's older and it was also a very sentimental name to me and to us and to our family. Um, and so I absolutely love my little man's name. Now that he has his name from his birth family with a name from us, it is just the perfect parcel for, for him and for our family. Another thing to consider is that when your children or child move home with you, they legally still are their name. They legally are the responsibility of the local authority, of the birth family, and in some ways yourself. You cannot change their name until the adoption order is granted. So that could be a minimum of, I guess, four months. So, you know, legally you would have four months of calling them one name and then changing that after the adoption order grant is granted might just confuse them even more. When the adoption order is granted, that is legally when their surname changes. So their surname will go from their birth surname to your surname. And you, like I said, you can add middle names as well, or you can choose to keep their middle names. Or if they don't have one, add one in. If they already have one, add another. It's completely down to you and down to your family and what you want to do and what you think is best for your child. But my biggest tip is to attend training. I have no doubts that preparation training as part of the UK adoption assessment process will cover the importance of trying not to change your child's name and the importance of identity and how the two work together. Um, so really tune into that, ask questions. It is okay to be sad about this. It is okay that this is another thing that you have to grieve. It's okay if you struggle with it. It's another layer of loss for a lot of people, particularly if you've struggled with infertility or IVF or baby loss and you have had a wonderful name in mind. Um, if you don't acknowledge that grief thing, you might start to resent your child or the child's name. So it's another thing that you have to work through. It's another tough part of the adoption process, but in more ways than one, you might absolutely just learn to love that name because it will come with so many, so many amazing things. You can also have nicknames. So I know as soon as we were matched with our little man at panel, I started calling him a nickname. I knew it in my head, I knew it in my heart. I gave him a nickname. I started referencing it and that is what everybody calls him now. And I love his nickname. We created his nickname. It just is natural. And um, yeah, so you can have little quirks, little nicknames that you want to call them as well. I wanna keep this video short and sweet, but I am gonna tag Amy Vlog's video on the importance of identity and not changing little one's names below as well because she has covered this in the past as well and might be able to provide a different perspective or some reasoning from her opinion and her view of what she did with her little one's names. But if you have any questions as always, please comment below or please find me on Instagram at Molly Mama Adopt. I'm happy to have a chat answer any questions or tell you a little bit more about our story. Please also subscribe to my channel for weekly adoption related content. I say weekly, it is weekly at the minute, but as the weather gets sunnier, that might change a little bit. But for now it will be weekly, so please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching guys, bye.